what's happening people welcome to another video with all sorts and today we are looking at a super clone series 7 smartwatch just before i get started make sure you follow me on one of the social medias above as I always put up sneak peeks on what to expect on all sorts and as always make sure you subscribe and also hit the bell notification so when i upload any video you'll actually be notified so i received this from a good friend in china uh, he said it's a super clone it's got no model number whatsoever uh, but the box might not be identical but the watch is so as this is sealed as you can see we're going to see what the watch is like so let's take a look at the box first as you can see you've got a picture of the series 7 watch right there it does state series 7 aluminium case sport band 45 millimeter as well so this is the first smartwatch to have a 45 mil millimeter on the box as you would know with the series 7 smartwatches they come in two new sizes 41 millimeter and a 45 millimeter uh, this is the 45 millimeter we have here some information uh, it says smartwatch series 7 45 millimeter midnight aluminium blue uh, SP band GPS designed by Innovation Lab in California, assembled in China. All the items are marked there on model A2476. I'm pretty sure that's similar to the original, but the Innovation Lab, that's definitely a new one right there. So, as you can see, you got a picture of the smartwatch with the Series 7 Minute Aluminium case, black sport band, and it says 45 millimeter as well. You got a few uh, barcodes and uh, yeah some trademarks so that is it for the box let's open this up and see what it's like so as you can see i've got my new unboxing tool right here don't want to damage the box too too much and as you can see the box is nice and sealed opening it up, let's move that aside opening it up here is what we have inside we've got another box it's actually stuck to the top of here so as you can see nothing inside the top box uh, first of all you've got a watch band box which we'll check out later second you've got some manuals uh, first of all you have the watch uh, x series 7 take a look at the back that's definitely a new one so here we have a watch series 7 full screen ahead so let's we are going to see if this is actually really a full screen uh, take a look at the specs so you've got appearance, uh, wrist strap, screen, sensor, uh, watch face, digital crown, side button, a few information about the watch itself, and also a QR code which we need to download, which is a fit fly, so we need to download that up. Take a look at the back, it gives you a bit more information. The battery is a 240 mAh battery. It lasts up to three to five uh, days, and it's on standby at 15 days as well. It's got a few sport modes, health monitor, other functions, Siri, synchronizing and connecting. So we're going to see what it's like when we actually power this smartwatch on. So let's see what watch band we actually got as well. So it's a pretty similar box as to the original, as you can see. Let's uh, see what watch band we've got inside. And it's only, it's only what big box, but just watch one watch band. So it's a black silicone watch band and it also it has wireless charging the same as the original with no led cutout as well which is good so it has a similar uh charging mechanism as the original now we need to check out the smartwatch itself here we have it look what it's like so let's just take this plastic packaging off apparently this is a full screen so we're going to find out it has got a screen protector on as well so let's take a look at the design you've got one slit where it comes uh, with the speaker none of the part of the speaker is uh, covered as well so it's all a speaker which is really good same as the original as well i'm pretty sure it's a bit bigger but uh, take a look at the back you've also got the power but uh, power uh, the buttons to take uh, the watch bands on and off which is really cool and also the sensors look exactly the same as well with also the text around we have the uh, crown with the micro towel and the button placement on and off at the same position so everything else is exactly the same so this is pretty much a good clone holding the power button in and you get a vibration with also the logo as well check that out it's a different kind of logo well a different animation logo and there we have it check the wallpaper out as well the christmas flashing lights are going daft at the back but yeah it says connecting don't know what it's connecting to because i'm not connected it but yeah first of all let's just check how many watch faces we have there we go so one two three 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 40, I'm sure, yeah, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 60 smartwatches. Wow, there's some really good ones in here. There's some really good ones. Look at that. And also it has a full screen as well. So this is definitely a first. Uh, some of the other, well, most of the other smartwatches don't always have the big bezel at the top, but look at this. This is definitely a full screen. So let's see what features we have. Swiping it down will bring you your shortcut. So you got your Bluetooth, uh, your silent on and off button, your power saving mode, you got three power saving modes. Uh, you also can change your menu interface two times. So you got your smart and also your list view, which I showed you earlier. You know what the smart view looks like. Let's just quickly show you. Just people saw they wanted to see it. So this is what the smart view looks like. But, but using it, I'm pretty sure this looks like the Vivo Fly three four or five that I used to do previously if you remember them let me know in the comment section below i'm pretty sure these are similar to that so here we have the torch i have no idea why they put that on because it doesn't do anything and you can change the time 24 or 12 hour clock so that's the shortcuts swiping it to the right you've got your split screen which is another good feature let's push it back and swiping it up will give you your uh, message notifications uh, swipe it to the left now and swiping it to the left will bring you up to your menu so you, that is what we have let's uh, see what menu you have so you've got sport mode a bit laggy to be honest but uh, don't, it's, overall it's a good smartwatch you've got your record which shows you um, the things that you've done throughout so your heart rate now as you can see this button has start now you can tell that it's a fake because with the original ones you don't have a start so please keep still as you can see you got the christmas flashing lights going daft at the back and uh, please keep still i'll leave it off an object let's see if it gives us a reading i'm pretty sure because it said start it has a timer which gives you a fake reading which we have right there putting up the three buttons will just give you the information so as you can tell they give you fake information with the ecg and the blood oxygen the crown does work yes you got your pedometer um this one i can never pronounce that right sleep dialer you can make phone calls from there as well go back uh call logs Let's uh, go back from there. You got your messages, phone book, remote notify, record. You can make a few recordings as well. So, hello and welcome to All Sorts. Let's uh, now. Where do we uh, record? So that was uh, a bit weird. I don't know where we're gonna <laughs> view that. Uh, but yeah, coming QQ notifications. That's a new one. You got your WeChat notifications. Well, that's not. Uh, we chat notifications you got your clock you can uh, adjust your clock uh, calendar you got to connect it to your uh, that's bluetooth music calendar which we have right there bluetooth music remote capture alarm stopwatch calculator uh, this is the app you need to download um, for android and ios and you've also got your settings let's go into settings so you got bluetooth settings you can switch your bluetooth toggle on and off language you got quite a few languages as you can see right there really good world clock well this right back let's go that way display let's see display screen out uh, seconds and also your timeout so you can change it like that volume sound motion as well gesture wake up you've got that you can use that main menu style it's only got two which i showed you earlier security settings you can put a passcode on it as well which is really cool uh, power saving mode which we checked earlier reset we don't want to reset it just yet about as well so the name is smartwatch the model is a2476 i'm pretty sure that's similar to the original same uh, and yeah that is about it so let's go back into record where well, voice recorder because i don't know how you can actually use it from there so we did make a little recording 
Hello and welcome to All Thoughts. So we stop that. Oh, we have it right here. Let's press play. So yeah, there we have it. It does record. But overall, it's not a bad watch. I like the 60 watch faces. You've got load. You can change it uh, with your crown as well. Uh, it's got. It's pretty basic as well, uh, but it's got good features. Shame about the health apps, which never actually work. But uh, check that out, look at that. Wait, which one was it? This one. Look at that for a watch face. But yeah, overall, a nice looking design. Full screen, which is definitely a first uh, when it comes to these smartwatches. Uh, new design, as you can see, one slit uh, with the speaker grill, crown, micro town, uh, also your power button, and also the buttons to take off the, uh, the watch band as well, which is really, really good. So what I'm gonna do now is download the app and let's see what other features we can do when it's connected to the app. Right, for some reason, I've downloaded the Fitfly on my phone, but it's not actually detecting it. So, uh, it has a QR code on the watch itself. If you go into app, it actually gives you a QR code, but the app you need to download is Media Tech Smart Device. So searching device, tap, uh, tap to add device. As you can see here, we've got this one right here, Smart Watch, and um, it's connected. So let's see if it actually shows anything on here. No, find device. Wait, let's forget this device because we don't know what that is. Tap a device. We need smartwatch. Smartwatch is connected. So let's press connecting. Pair. Yes. Allow notifications. Yes. And it says connected on here. But I don't know what is connected onto the phone or not, as you can see. So we've got smartwatch right there. Let's go into Fitfly and see if that actually works. Got nothing on here. So it doesn't actually... So it just keeps saying connecting on here for some reason. No idea why. But anyways, other than that, I don't think you can get a lot on Fitfly. You only can change your watch faces, find device goals, sleep settings and um, other stuff like that. Uh, to make phone calls, I don't know, I don't know how to test it, but it's not actually connecting. So I don't know if I have to update the watch or anything. It's actually showing that it is connected, but it's not connected to Fitfly. As you can tell right here, device, iPhone connection failed, but it's actually showing green. If you take a look at it right here, it's showing that is green so if we go back into MediaTek, it says connected right there find device and that's not actually working as well and that's on so you can actually do all this but you can't do a lot so that's what you get when you get fake smart watches i'll try and actually figure it out if i do then i'll make a short video on which app I actually connects to i'll try different ones as you can tell i've got loads of different uh, apps which i need to check out so i'll make a short video to see if any of the apps actually work but what do you think of it ladies and gentlemen to me it actually looks similar and performs similar as the vivo fly 4 three four five uh, but what are your thoughts let me know in the comment section below it has got a full screen which is good loads of watch faces uh, a pretty good smart watch nice and smooth bit laggy but a bit the screen is smooth but overall not a bad smart watch what do you think let me know in the comment section below if you want to see any other videos with this watch uh, let me know in the comments thanks again for watching and i will see you again for another video